Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another 2023 BMW 760i X-Drive. This one is in the new color Frozen Deep Gray. This video is done prior to the PDI or pre-delivery inspection. We'll go over this one hopefully in a little bit more detail than the last 760 we had on the channel, which was in Frozen Pure Gray. So obviously it's a much darker color. So all the 7 Series, with the exception of the i7, comes standard with the M Sport package. This one has the M Sport Professional package. You can tell that because it has the blacked out kidney grills. It also has the Executive package, which is no longer available on the 7 Series. So you have the crystal headlights here. Draw a nice touch. And moving over to the side. We have the style 907M wheels. These are 20 inch wheels with the black M Sport calipers. And there's basically an aerodynamic shaped wheel. See some of the aero in here on the wheels. And we'll step back and take in the gigantic G77 series. Again, it's five inches longer than the previous gen 7 series. So it's a huge car make our way around frozen deep gray. Uh, unfortunately, overcast here in the morning in California. And I do note that the license plate frame, usually on the car is coming in. This is already sort of, the bracket's already installed here. It looks like you have to install it as well. We have our gurney flap in gloss black. And then the 760i logo. Again, this is different font. That's uh, appeared, I think, on the i4 M50 first. So a bigger 7 here in the 60i. But I think Frozen Deep Gray looks really good on the 7 series. And then from the side, my impressions of this car is that it's more of like a baby Rolls Royce. And I think that's what BMW was going for. You see the high belt line as well with the frozen paint. make our way inside and go over the pricing and the interior details as well. So part of the exec package included the automatic doors, which were also a separate option. So you press this button here. The door opens automatically, revealing Tartufo extended merino leather. Got some nice displays here. So this crystal for your seat controls. Bowers and Wilkins is standard on the, on the car as well, but this one's got the upgraded Bowers and Wilkins. You've got this little sort of light bar information display here. Remnants, I say, of like a MacBook Pro. But you know, your memory seat functions here. Seat controls here, you press that button, it'll bring up a menu to adjust the seats a little bit further. Lock, unlock. Unlock the door, so you open the door and your controls for mirrors and doors as well. It's also got all the protective stuff still on it, so I'll go over the back seat as well, which is a little bit less. So you can press this button to close the door. You can also put your foot on the brake pedal. The car is on. Basically press that brake pedal, door closes. And we've got our iDrive 8 instrument panel and the curved display, which I think looks really great on the 7 series. Now, some of you out there have complained about the integration. You can see how it's integrated into the dash, maybe a little bit more, but personally, I don't really care. I think it looks good. All right, so the trim is the Mirror Oak high gloss trim, which sort of blends into the upper dashboard given the contrasting colors of Tartufo and the black here. You got your interaction bar. So passenger side also has the automatic door. And this will light up in different colors based upon the mode or the ambient lighting. So if I ever go into sport mode here, a little bit harder to see, but it lights up in the M colors. You can see the blues over there, as well as the red across the dashboard. But pretty good. And your 
steering wheel, the M Sport steering wheel, which I think looks pretty good as well. So it's a pretty good design, I think. And your paddle shifters up here, your boost function up here. So here's your so controls for the cruise control and driving assistance over here on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Gone are sort of the adjustments you make. All those adjustments are going to be made in the driving settings in the driver assistance menu here. So you go in here, you have to make, go to driving, and you change all the speed limit, distance control, etc. You can get to that really quickly by just pressing this button here on the center console. Glass controls as well. There are gear selector and the crystal as well. Looks pretty nice. Then our cup holders here. And that mirror oak high gloss trim. A little bit more of the interior trim here. But we'll make our way into the back seat and talk about that momentarily. But first, let's go over pricing and options. So starting price of the 760i xDrive, $113,600. $5,000 for the frozen deep gray paint. Marina letter is included. $2,100 for the driving assistance pro package. Three grand for the, the luxury rear seating package, which I believe is now gone from the car as well. 950 bucks for the M Sport Professional Package, Parking Assistance Package, another 900 bucks. The Executive Package for $3,700. All this other stuff is included, so you get a lot for your very high cost of entry. Bowers and Wilkins Sound System, $4,800, and that's the upgraded Bowers and Wilkins Sound System, so 4D sound, etc. Wheel locks were added, all told MSRP of $135,165. All right, so we're gonna get out, we're gonna press this button. Now I can go to the screen here and open the rear door as well. Always a little tricky getting the door to close with the automatic button. That resistance point's a little bit hard to deal with. So here's the rear seat luxury package in Tartufo, which looks really good. And it contrasts nice with the frozen deep gray. So we can close the door, pressing that button. Here we've gone over a few times all your controls for the climate as well as the seats. And then you've got your panoramic uh, moonroof, basically. So it's not like the IX, but it's just basically open, does not open anywhere. There's also LED in here as well for ambient lighting, which contrary to, I guess, rumors, has not disappeared off the car. Then you've got some of the mirror oak high gloss trim here on the head restraints, as well as the console back here. So there are climate zones back here, so you have to use the little screens here on the door on either side to adjust the temperature for the back seat passengers. You can get the accessories that plug in the back here, basically an iPad holder as well as the coat hanger and USB-C charging port as well. All right, so this folds down. So you have cup holders hidden here by pressing this button here. That pops open. You can have, I guess, very, not very deep cup holders. So I don't know how effective these are going to be especially have a big drink like a venti or something like that from Starbucks. But not bad. Also a wireless charger in the back. Holding that up. Looks pretty good. I don't think you're going to have much complaints as a backseat passenger in the G70. The seats are really comfortable. And I think the cabin is fantastic. I mean, look at this view up here. I think it's really well done. A vast improvement over the previous Gen 7 series. All right, so move into the back. We do have kick to open or hands-free operation of the tailgate. Basically, you just line yourself up, kick in, pops open. So it looks really good. I think a lot of space as well in the back seat. So a lot of space in the trunk. You probably fit a couple bodies in here. Kick the close. 
then we'll pop the hood here. We'll use the automatic door again. All right, so get to that, go down here and pull the latch there twice, pop the hood. All right, so underneath the hood is the S68 V8 engine. So 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo engine. Got 536 horsepower here, as well as 553 torques. So a very powerful engine, I think. BMW says this gets 0 to 60 in about 4.1 seconds, so it's probably more like 3.9 than real-world testing. But let me know what you think about Frozen Deep Gray. New color on the very good-looking, at least in some angles, 7 Series. But obviously, this is not going to be a big seller for us. And you probably won't see many of these on the road either, unless you're in areas like LA or Florida, probably Miami might be a pretty big seller there. But that's it for a tour around the 760i X-Drive. We'll see you at the next video.